Hi guys! Welcome back sa ating YouTube channel kung saan ang mat ay mas pinadadali at mas minamahal. At andito na naman si Teacher Maria, ang inyong mat buddy para tulungan kayo sa mga problema nyo sa mat. And for today's video, ito ay about conducting as a a statistical mini research pero ang focus natin is yung paano ba natin mako-complete itong frequency distribution table. Okay? Pero bago ko simulan ng video tutorial na ito, siguraduhin na muna mga anak ko, i-like nyo na muna ang video na ito. Sige na, umuunti ang like natin. Ayaw nyo atang pindutin. Like na! Yan, at syempre kung bago ka pa lang sa aming YouTube channel, pindutin mo na rin dyan ang subscribe button. At i-hit mo na rin ang notification bell para lagi kang maging updated sa mga videos na i-upload ko. Okay na, na-like, na-subscribe at na-hit na rin ang notification bell. Kung okay na, tara na, simulan na natin. Okay, for learning task number 1, may, may title to na Am I a Scholar? Okay, so tinatanong natin or tatanungin natin or aalamin natin kung yung score ni Dennis and Christine ay pasok para maging scholar sila. Okay, Dennis and Christine scored 30 and 26 respectively in the National Career Assessment Examination or NCAI. The determining factor for a college scholarship is that the student's score should be in the top 10%. Dapat nasa top 10% of score of the score of his her graduating class. Okay, so the students in the graduating class obtained the following scores in NCAI. Okay, mga anak ko, kung magkakaiba-iba man tayo dito ng frequency, okay lang ha. So, hindi nyo lang yung procedure, madali lang to. Okay, so let's have this one. So, we have the score, the frequency, the less than cumulative frequency, the class mark, and the product of the frequency and the class mark. Now, for the lower boundary, Diba? Sobrang sisiw lamang ito. Sorry. Okay, we have here, magsasubtract tayo ng 0 0.05 dito sa part na to ng interval. Okay? Okay. So, let's have this one. Kasi ito yung lower limit. Et, ito naman yung upper limit. Yun nandito. So, so, para makuha natin yung lower boundary, minus 0.5 sa lower limit natin. So, we have 2.5. Bilisan ko lang ha. We have here 5.5, 8.5, 11.5, 5, and then 23.5, 20, ano to? 26.5, 29.5, 32.5, and then 35.5, and 38.5. Sana hindi ako naduling. Okay? Now, for less than cumulative frequency, medyo nilagyan ko na to ng score, ha? Para mas mabilis lang. Pero ituturo ko na kung paano sa inyo. O, paano ito gagawin sa inyo? Okay, unang-una, kung ano yung first digit ninyo, isulat lang siya dito. Kasi siya yung magiging basis natin. And then, mag a tayo pataas, ha? Natatandaan? Teka, kuha ko ng ibang kulay. O, ito, yellow. Paano yung sinasabi kong pataas? 2 plus 2 is 4. Okay? 4 plus 3 is 7. So, ina-add natin siya. 7 plus 5, 12. Ganyan, nakuha natin yung 12. 12 plus 9, 21. 21 plus 8, 29. 29 plus 10 is 39. 39 plus 11 is 50. And 50 plus 20 is 70. That's how we get it. O, sige nga, ituloy natin. 70 plus 14 is 84. 84 plus 6 is 90. 90 plus 7 is 97. And then 97 plus 3 is 100. Okay? Hindi ba masakit sa matay na kuha kong kulay yellow? O, palitan natin. Now, for the middle mark or class mark, okay, kinukuha natin yung middle number. Okay? If we are going to have this yung 3 to 5, di ba? Kung bibilangin natin yan, 3, 4, 5. Ano yung nasa gitna? 4. Okay? Ganun lang siya. And then, 6, 7, 8. 
So, ang class mark natin ay 7 kasi siya yung nasa gitna. And then, 9, 10, 11. So, 10. O, para mas, mabali, ma mas mabilis, yung number after yung lower limit natin, yung sagot. O, 12, so 13. 15, 16. 18, 19. 21, 22. 24, 25. 27, yung susunod sa kanya, 28. 30, 31, 33, 34, and then 36, 37, 39, 40. Madali lang kasi add number, may gitna talaga. Okay? Pero kung nangyari na even number, kunyari, 3 to 6. Diba? Kunyari, yan yung kukunan natin ng class mark. Ang nasa gitna niyan ay, o, oh, sulat ko ha, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, ang nasa gitna ay dalawa, 4 and 5. So, ang gagawin mo, i-add nyo yan divided by 2. So, 4 plus 5 is 9 divided by 2, 4.5 yung magiging class mark ninyo. Yun yung mapupunta dito. Okay, sana naintindihan ha. And then, let's go to the uh, product of the frequency and our class mark. So, kailangan natin silang i-multiply. Okay, so tulungan ninyo ako ha para mabilis tayo paano natin mamumultiply iyan. So, we have 2 times this one, 4. Okay, wait for a while. Okay, frequency and class mark ha, 2 times a 4 is 8. Okay, 2 times a 7 is 14. 3 times 10 is 30. 5 times 13. How many is 5 thir times 13? If we have 60, when we have times 12, so this will be 65. Okay, 9 times is 16. Oh, I need help na dito. <laughs> okay. So, 9 times 16 is, correct, 144. How about 8 times 19? 8 times 19 is 152. Okay. How about 10 times 22? That's 220. How about 11 times 25? This is 275. Ito madali lang, di ba? You just add 2 plus 5 and then put it in the middle. And then 20 times 28 is 560. And then 14 times 31, this one, 14 and 31, you have 434. And then 6 times 34, you have 204. And then, 7 times 37, you have 259. And last one, 3 times 4 is 120. Wag malilito ha, frequency and class mark ang kinukunan natin ng product. Okay, o yan na, nakumpleto na natin. Now, let's go to the questions ha, let's answer. Paano ba natin masasagutan yung mga questions? Okay, so let's have this one. Complete the table by filling in the values of lower boundary, less than cumulative frequency. And kung ito, yung last natin kinuha, yung ating class mark. So, paano ba natin kinuha yung mga yan? Paano natin nakompleto? Kasi kailangan natin i-explain. Now, to get the lower boundary, subtract 0 0.5 for the lower limit. Diba? Yun yung ginawa natin. That's why we have this one. And then, to get the less than cumulative frequency, add each frequency starting at the bottom. Diba? From this one, bottom 2, 2 plus 4, then inad natin hanggang makuha natin or ma-reach natin itong nasa taas. Ganun lang kasimple. And now, to get the class mark or midpoint, to find the middle value or calculate the average of the class. Okay? Or the, of the class limits. Katulad kanina, 3, 4, 5, yung middle mark natin or yung middle ma value natin ay 4. Ngayon, if in case... Even number, we just have to add it and then divide it by 2. Okay, average lang. Okay, now let's go to this one, number 2. Find the third quartile, 72nd percentile, and 8th decile of the set of data. Kailangan pa bang i-explain to? Ang dami na, dami na nating video na ganito yung given. Ha? Sige na nga, saglitan natin. Ayan, wait, may ihahabol lang ako bago tayo dun sa measure of position. Sa di, inihabol ko ito kung paano natin kinuha yung last part ng ating table, yung fx 
fxm, okay, paano ba siya to get the fxm, multiply the frequency and the midpoint. And syempre, kailangan kunin muna natin yung mean. And yung mean natin, ng formula natin dyan is the summation of f of x m over n. So, ibig sabihin, since we have summation here, kailangan natin i-add lahat ng nasa column nitong ating o nitong last column natin ni fxm. And then, divided it by the number of ah uh, students we have. And obviously, meron tayong 100. Kung ano yung nandito nyo, wait, yun yung n ninyo. Okay? Ako, 100. Kayo, tingnan nyo kung ilan yung sa inyo, ha? Okay, let's see. Add natin, ha? We have 120 plus 259. Okay, plus 204. Plus 434. Okay, plus 560. Plus 275. Plus 220. Plus 152, plus 144, plus 65, plus 30, plus 14, and plus 8. Ilan lahat yan? That's 2,485. 2,485. Okay. Ayan. So, you will have here. Oh, my God. Sorry, may nalaglag. <laughs> sorry, sorry. So, you will have here uh, 2,485 divided by 100. Yung kabakwa. Okay, so we have here now, move lang natin tong dalawa kasi 100 lang naman ito. Pero sa inyo, 99 ata yung lalabas. So, you divide it by 99 kung ano man yung makuha nyo dito. So, I'll have here 24,000, uh, 24.85. So, this will be, or this is my mean. Magagamit natin siya later. Okay, dahil medyo mahaba na tong video na to, mga anak ko, yung measures... And opposition and yung uh, questions number 3 to 5 doon ko na sa next sa video ko gagawin ha pero bago kayo pumunta doon sa video ko na to mag-comment muna kayo dito ha konting konting tiis na lang at matatapos na tayo kaya please naman tulungan niyo ako maapit ng video na to at makita din ng iba by uh, leaving a comment okay great then thank you and daging tandaan let's spread the love of math thank you and bye